Hello YouTube. It's been a long, long time, but I'm here with another book review. And this time it's on The Science of Getting Rich, which is free on YouTube as an audiobook. And uh, if you are interested, you can go check it out. But from what I've seen about it, not very helpful. Um, the book starts off as the title says, the science of getting rich and how if you follow this exact science that you will become rich through very empirical data. And just from that, you're conjuring up images of science and uh, mathematics and statistics in order to prove whatever theory this is about it. You know, perhaps you're thinking about uh, what some sort of uh, career path could lead somebody or different ways that people have used this system to get somewhere, but this book really has absolutely zero to do with science or mathematics or physics or anything, despite its title. So it is immediately clickbait, which if you're not, if you're turned off by that kind of thing is immediately as I am, then it was pretty strange. The other thing was, the book is structured in a strange way, which is to um, describe the world through a very, I want to say, biblical standpoint, which is very odd for a book that's raised or is titled something called The Science of Getting Rich. And they use imagery and uh, language related to talking about theological issues or God in some sense and it has a very flowery sense about, sense about it. Uh, they hardly use anecdotes to explain situations. They use mostly uh, literary emphasis on how God wants things or how you should think of the world instead, which is the whole point of the book. The whole point of the book being the world is made of a thinking stuff, and through that thinking stuff, you can create whatever you like, right? That is the entire book. It is repeated consistently throughout every single chapter that the world is made of a thinking stuff, which is in what ways you can probably describe matter or um, any other manner of things that would appeal to you. I think it was purposefully worded in a uh, way that would attract people who are religious in that sense. So the world is made of thinking stuff, which is what they want you to think, right? And in that way, they would get you to think about the world in a different way, which is that the world is malleable to you. So it gives you confidence. Later on in the book, they talk about different ways you can be more confident about what it is that you want to take on, right? Which is to say, you will think that the book will succeed for you and you will do everything that the book says and you will not read any other books, which was a very strange, strange thing to write down and to read, which was very odd in my opinion. And the book goes on to say that the world is made of thinking stuff. You can do something about that stuff you need to be confident in yourself, don't doubt yourself, and you can make it through. Which is to act upon your will to change the world, right? The world is thinking stuff and you can shape that into whatever it is that you want, right? And everything will increase for you as you continue. And all in all, I thought the book was very strange, full of clickbait and... Uh, I would not recommend it only if ever to people who had not already heard those lessons which I said, which is to be confident in oneself, to put the will forward, to create circumstances that would help you out, and just the most basic steps to take when you're trying to figure out a plan of action to go on to, and I mean the most basic levels. So if you had already uh, gotten to these basic levels, then I don't recommend this book. And uh, if you're interested, I can do some more 
book reviews on mostly financial topics. And if you're interested, hit the like and subscribe. And thank you. Bye.